Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. Uh, tonight, we're going to be doing part two on property rights because last week, well, we, we were kind of talking about a whole lot, and it, and it got kind of interesting. We didn't really finish it up as, as well as we should. But so before we do that, as always, talk about what we're drinking around here. Kevin? I'm drinking air. Air, air, technically. Oh, air is good. It can it's a good be, brand. Yeah, air is good. Wet air, dry air. <laughs> can be a liquid What's, depending on what temperature it is. It's like 60% air. Uh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Um, Nitrogen could I was just going to say, it's all <laughs> air, but it's like, yeah. John is drinking. Yeah, I, uh, Matt floated me one of his Ninkasi Brewing Company's Otis Oatmeal Stout, and I love it. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. Cheers. Um, I'm drinking Lagunitas Brown Sugar, uh, which is a favorite of mine. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on the podcast at all. If we don't, I may or may not have it. It's very good. Um, it's a it's a brown ale, very sweet, uh, and pretty high gravity too. So it kind of works well for everybody. What is high gravity? Heavy gravity is al well. Okay, gravity is not necessarily alcohol content. In layman's Ooh. term, it's going to be strong. Yeah, in layman's strong term, it's layman's something layman's that's going to get you more drunk. But, but if you want to like term. really get into yes. like no. the, the geeky stuff of it and then the science of it, right. gravity does not necessarily mean alcohol content. Okay. But what does it mean to me? It means to you, if it's high more gravity, it's more likely going to, yeah, yeah. more dissolved sugars, okay. it's more likely to get you okay. more drunk. Got it. Okay. Christy is drinking. I'm drinking, drinking red velvet, uh, cupcakes, red velvet. And it's good. I, it's a blend of something. It's good. I am also drinking the Otis Oatmeal Stout, 7.2%. Very good. Okay, John and Matt are both doing the same thing. I'm going to have to try this later. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so I guess um, uh, I've always wanted to do a super serious show. Like, I thought it'd be really funny to one day do the show like, <laughs> yeah, like really serious, like McLaughlin Group or something. Issue one. <laughs> Property rights. That's your say? No, I can't. No. But um, b before we get started, I I'd like to say honestly to you and and, uh, and everybody else sitting here that uh, I'm not currently, nor have I ever been a member of the Communist Party. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> moving on. That comment is from Sorry. last. Yeah, week. yeah. That's a, there's a yeah. Somebody apparently Sorry. had issues oh with my uh, with we us. Got a, um, we got a thumbs down, guys. Yeah, we. Were, we, we were all horribly, like, I mean, I, I, I was really sullen for a good, like, 30 seconds after I saw that, that thumbs down. Like, good saw 30 good. seconds. I was though. like, we needed to, we needed you inspired to. us to do another episode. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 was that it just your input? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. That it was proves considered, thank you. Somebody actually watched the whole <laughs> thing and then decided they didn't like That's it right. and put the, was, the thumbs down, good. so. So, thank you. So, okay. yeah, now. Yes. We, you just influenced the show, and we're doing a uh, second part on it. Yeah. So, yes. um, property rights. Property part rights, two. Uh, part two. So, I guess, kind of, um, Christy, you, you were mentioning a little bit about um, that. I guess the nature of it is you're, you're saying that under all conditions, it, under any and all conditions, if the property is bought by an individual, it is there, it is theirs for the entirety of their life until they sell it. Is that, okay. would, that would that be your, your opinion? Yes. With Issue the, one. With, with the, cave, with <laughs> the caveats, is if we right. believe in property rights, it, right. no, if we believe in land is property, mm -hmm. then yes. If we believe land is property and coordinates say that this land belongs to somebody, yes. I mean, it, it's, it, it's, it's irrelevant if they use it or not. So I think some of this stuff goes back to if nobody owned any property, what would we do with land? You know, is land something we could even make property? And that's where some of this, these ideals of, of, you know, should property be something that is used, is that that's being useful? Um, and but... Yeah. So I, I think the main thing you're getting at is that uh, because it's a limited resource mm. it is what the argument is. Well, see, right? the way I look at it as we're all like, we come out of our mom, mom's, mom, so. no, but right, we come out of 
Are, we, we're born, all right? We're right. We're we, we all come of our we're own mother's born. vagina. <laughs> My mother's from yeah. vagina. <laughs> it, was, it was a warm, safe <laughs> place, but another place that was usually kind of bright. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we, we do, and, and so who, I mean, let's just say there's nobody that owns property, right. and we're all on this thing called Earth. Mm -hmm. What gives anybody the right to have a certain piece of the property, okay? Really, what does? So at that point, we're not there that now, though. We've already gone down so, this road where so we've I, cut things up, I, and we've paid. We've paid. We've we've. I've earned money, and I've paid people for it. Uh -huh. You know, and then but so we used to own humans. People, yeah, humans right. used to you're own right, humans, right? right? See, we don't do that, that anymore because we evolved. I know, and I, I can see that. Right? I really yeah, can yeah. see that. Yeah. I can. Yeah. It's just we're not there. It's like, how do we make that transition? Where okay, I've I've made that. Let's say we're going back to the ten thousand acres. Now I can see a a, a place as we talked about where that ten thousand acres is just pre preserves. It's not being used at all. Did you get it's a mule not, with that ten thousand acres? Did or I love it? Did you get a mule with that ten thousand acres? It's possible. Okay, they might right. have. Thrown <laughs> I, 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 I don't know why I had to say that, <laughs> but I felt like I needed to say that. They could have. They, yeah, yeah, there was a mule on the property. Okay, all right, was, all right, yeah. all right, all right. But I just wanted to use it because I want to preserve it. You know, I didn't want to do anything with it. I, I think to. Too much is, do we have to use stuff? No, we don't have to use shit. You know, yeah. we don't. We could just... Any, so. you, see, to me, like, okay, so, so what you're saying, 10,000 acres... You have no intention and a mule. Uh, of. And a mule. Thank you. 10,000 acres. There, somewhere in this 10,000 acres, there's a mule, <laughs> which, because the property is not being maintained, this mule is now wild and living free. Well, just and that, that's yeah, kind of a wonderful I, thought. I okay. Cool. But, um, <laughs> so, hmm. All right. Um, <laughs> This, this, this is the way I look at this, is that, uh, to me, a logical solution to this it would be to put up signs somehow, maybe not even put up, like, a barbed wire fence, because if you wanted to be, like, preserved nature, you, you're okay with come, people right. or animals yeah. to be able to, yeah. to pass through yeah. it. Okay, so to me, like, a solution to that is putting up some sort of sign. And, I mean, this doesn't have to be, you know, paragraphs long. You could just put up a sign that says, um, you know... I, whatever, own this property. I intend this to be, uh, to be so. preserved, not preserved, I guess you wouldn't really, preserved is kind of a weird way to say it, but, but to be kept in a state of nature. Right. And, Please don't and, build on and, it. And, yeah. Right. Don't, and, and, you can enjoy it, but don't build on yeah, it. Yeah, you know, right. you, you, you know, you are allowed to pass right. within and right. without, but do not, right. you know, uh, destroy this natural habitat and you, and you can leave it at that now if somebody doesn't want to uh, uh you know violates that what, See, do, what do you do then and, 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 i don't think property rights exist and let the state do, you know it, it, so, it so, uh, I, I think i think if doesn't. nothing if nothing so no, it, it's if nothing was if nothing was <laughs> if nothing was destroyed um then it, it there's no big issue there if someone didn't destroy something on the property, then you can't really, if there's something wrong, then I, I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> it happens. It happens. So if there's something wrong with the property, then... Yeah, so if there was damage done, mm -hmm. then oh, you could okay, say, hey, right. look, you, yeah. you destroyed this. Uh, I'd like compensation for that. Uh, you've done this. You, you know... I'd like conversation. Basically, as long as there's yeah, something, if there's have, actual, but is, what if, who's well, there has to be actual that, harm though? done. No. Um, it has to be a cultural thing. Somebody has to agree well, like that that's your, that's even a legitimate ownership. Yeah, I, I think that someone was saying earlier about possibly having a blockchain uh, for property. Yeah. I don't know if something like that I, would I, work. I think that I think that's a, a solution. But that now it's a solution to... for a record. It's not a solution for enforcement, though. Yeah, I mean, but, you've but, got a but, record, but, but who's going to adhere to it? So well, so, well yeah. Yeah, yeah, however, I mean... Yeah, so John, John and you was chomping at the bit yeah. over here. I can feel it. <laughs> no, <laughs> you had to say no, that. No, I mean, no. like, let's not move the goalposts. Though. We're right. talking about in a mm -hmm. voluntaristic society, right? Mm -hmm. So there is no real <clears throat> agency of a supposed authority in a voluntarist society, well, right? Well, but so, we have, in a voluntarist society, we have people who are, have different ways of living. You're going to have True. the communist ones. You're going to have the anarchist. You're going to have all True. different kinds. Right. So, uh, all right. But that doesn't right. mean that there's an agency of authority that's going to make, you know, a final so, word, a final, you know, right. arbiter or whatever. Uh, so I, I, my point is that I just want to make sure that we are talking about this place in the future where right. we have abolished the state 
abolished serfdom, slavery, and all its formations, right? And now we're talking about what is property ownership? To what extent does it exist? What is its nature in a voluntary society? So I, I'm just trying to say, well, there is no police no. state or anything yeah. like that, right? So It's just us. Right, so what we agreed to. how do we settle our differences? I yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I think if you, you could use technology, though, uh, as another means to, basically, if, if you, let's say you do uh, purchase property or you are using property and it's not registered, there's nobody using it, there's no, nobody who's claimed ownership of it. Um, being able to say, we're using this and it's being used for this, um, basically allow, it, let's say you do want anybody to come camp out, do whatever they want on this property, uh, then maybe you could advertise that, hey, come here. You can come here, camp out, do as you please, as long as you're not harming anyone, and really have a way to get that information out that this is what goes on here. Uh, Are you saying a blockchain? Something like that. I think a blockchain's great. Maybe not so necessarily what a blockchain. So what would it take, like, a, a, um, a app to actually read the blockchain? How does that work? I mean, I was, I mean, cause I was thinking of that. How yeah, do I mean, you... It, you can put it in the blockchain, but you have to, like, be able to I read see the it, blockchain. Yeah, I see it more of it as, like, a um, some sort of, like... Uh, you claiming your property and letting everybody know this is like I think the internet. It's a timestamp. That's basically a time. Is yeah, that but then you I have to have something. Do I understand that, it correctly? Yeah. Is that we're talking about basically a timestamp on a claim mm. within the blockchain? Yeah, I, I, you could say you could even have it. Yeah, say you're. Uh, yeah, you, uh, so it's all recorded and everybody knows this property's in use. Uh, it doesn't have to. Nobody has to say what they're using it for. I don't. I don't think that right. would be necessary. But I think it would be nice if you could have something like, I'm doing this here. Let's say you want a job here. To, I'm using it for this. Uh, you know, if you need housing, if you want to build a house on this property, let me know here. So maybe some sort of so if, integration with realty. Uh, some like. So if I already purchased from the old system, if I already purchased a piece of land, I could go there and say I've already purchased this land. I mean, who legitimizes that? Yeah. So I, I think it would have to be. Um, you'd have to have some sort of. Proof of ownership. Now that that would be, that definitely would be something that would need yeah. to be. There'd be some weird. Yeah, you yeah. you'd want to have good. Say, you'd you'd want to have a, a very strict criteria, and that I guess. It, then it becomes that, that's who, kind of who exactly validates what who, what really right. makes you own the property. Yeah. What's legitimate right. ownership? I, I think like a, for for who owns what. I a lot a lot of this I think is just really simply solved by common law of like. Okay, so you had a contract with one person and another, and you had a contract and you wrote it, submitted it to another person for their property, what, whatever, and, or, or their use of their property for renting it. You guys come up, you, the other party agrees to that contract. You have a third person as a witness signed to the contract so that there's somebody to go to to say, like, well, not only did we both sign it and we both had copies of it, but this person who was not even a party to it also signed it. So I think that solves a lot of the problems in itself. I mean, and so, I mean, uh, you go back to property claims in, like, England and France and stuff. Essentially, a lot of that is a blockchain of a sort. You yeah. know, it's not electronic, but the same thing is that you still have a ledger. You, yeah, there's still records of where it goes, and it just so happens at this point in time that the state is the one that is, is the holding ledger. right the record keeper, is holding yeah. the records. Yeah, yeah. yeah it uh, doesn't have to be the state. You, that holds you records. could always have yeah. yeah, you could always yeah. have uh, those records right. transferred to a private organization yeah. that is uh, well trusted by anybody participating. But I think we go back to: is it ethical to own land? You know, is it something that we want to have? So what's is the that, case for not being ethical? I mean, this is an evolution of my own thought, but let's just say that an example being, let's say a Monet is, was stolen seven years, eight years, whatever it is, and it, the state has this arbitrary number on when you can pat, when, you know, stolen goods are no longer or able to be claimed again. Right? Oh, statue of limitations. Right, right, right statue of limitations. But I say I still own a Monet. Let's <laughs> just say <laughs> that you bought a Monet and you, you know, poured out the millions of dollars it cost to buy a Monet. But just X amount of years ago, that Monet was stolen and the owner is still alive and he's out his Monet and yeah. now you're the supposed 
rightful owner yeah, of a Monet. What do you do? I you don't know. know what and, to and do. the reality is that's it's stolen. stolen goods. It and is, it's Ill- yeah. Your ownership is fundamentally illegitimate. I would try yeah, to I go back. I would know. try to go back. The same to the thing goes with I land. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, these things. Granted, it may outlive the original owner. Yeah. That doesn't mean that we're not peddling stolen goods still. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And somehow the Mona Lisa's in Paris, right? But well, it's, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. 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 It, 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 somehow our land. Than, that, but yeah. yeah, to the point though. Uh, so, all of this was a lot easier when there was only 500 million people on the planet, and it's only going to get worse when there's 20 billion people on the planet, right? Once all the arable land is claimed, then you have a a large percentage of people on the planet who essentially have zero access or they're dependent upon someone's Someone good else, will, right. right? And if we have this notion of profit attached to land, then I think that I could see where it divorces us from a natural world, if you will, you know, because where you have this profit motive attached to land, the farmer's motive is profit. And there's nothing wrong with profit. I'm not saying profit doesn't have its place. Right. I'm saying when you're talking about a finite good, a finite item such as land, if we want to build this ideal of uh, voluntarism, we should consider elements, philosophical elements that allow us, that allows the philosophy to be sustainable. You know, when we've reached 20 million, is voluntarism still vi- still viable? You know, if we ha- are, if it's rooted in. It- in the principle of land ownership. And I, I'm but just saying, be. It know, might still be. And I'm, I'm yeah. open ears. Yeah. I'm, I just think this is a, a good thing to discuss. You, so. you, brought, you brought up a good point. I'm kind of glad you went in that direction because you were you're mentioning it earlier before we turned on the camera, um, which is funny. Like sometimes we, we're actually talking about this and if you think this is a good idea, put it in the comments somewhere if you think this is a good idea. We're, we're thinking about just like going around with a GoPro the whole night uh, and just recording the whole thing and putting that up as like amazing stuff to as, as, a, as a podcast or something <laughs> of its own of just like, I, I do it just for the hell of it. Just walk around all night with a GoPro and hope everybody doesn't think it's too creepy and, and do that as some sort of a show in itself. But you were, you were mentioning earlier about, okay, so what happens? Well, technically in a, in a sense, we're already there that all the land, we, we know the, the, the entirety of the globe. We know what, you can calculate exactly how much land there is. And it's all owned by either someone or some entity. Most of the government. I think most of it's actually and not And technically, used. yeah, if, if, right. if, you're, the government is if, you're pay, if you're paying property taxes, guess what? They kind of actually really own it. And actually, you know, yeah, the yeah. percentage of land that's actually premium arable land is very small, right? Mm-hmm. You know, yep. So technically, it's it's. And what is it? Ninety percent of Alaska is all owned by the federal government, yeah. or something like that. Nevada's it's like eighty like percent. Yeah, yeah, Alaska yeah. and Nevada yeah. are, are yeah. both like that. So what happens in the future if all of a sudden, I mean, which we're all crossing mm-hmm. our fingers for, of course, in a non-violent fashion, that one day it just goes, and it's gone. All right, so it's gone. What happens to yeah. all that? Who gets that? Do you do? Uh, do you know, do, do people a... honor? It's really about what are people going to honor? Mm-hmm. Are they going to honor the fact that I paid a certain amount for a plot? I don't know if people will. You know, I don't know. It's really a cultural thing. Are people going to honor the fact that I own something? I don't know. What's it's, the difference it's... between land and some other property? Well, that's, so... yeah, you were saying, yeah, yeah. Um... It's like, mostly about scarcity, I think, is kind of what the, the picture right, is. Right, so the land is finite. So using the toothbrush, the car, the personal computer, all these things are possessions that don't, that, that are not, that don't, that other people aren't dependent upon. It's, it's, a, it's, it's for yourself, right? Privilege. It's, 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 well, the same thing as anything yeah. that is finite. You, when you have something that we don't have enough for everybody, which in this case, I'm not sure that that is actually the case, that we don't have enough. But what is available, like we were talking about, the government owning so much right now, uh, that makes it so that it's harder to buy land, it's more expensive. And, yeah, we, when it's finite, that's really when we have problems. If there's something where everybody has enough, 
You're not going to have an issue. We wouldn't have a podcast on something. Who gets shafted you don't have with a the, podcast with on the quarter air. acre in the Bahamas? You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So I don't, don't not understand. enough air to do a podcast. We're, <laughs> next week, I don't know what we're doing, but we're not going to be here. <laughs> have a good night, everybody. So I definitely understand that point, but on the flip side, though, isn't property in some general sense a way to reduce conflict? When people disagree See, about yeah. something, I mean, I kind of that that that's been something like, I sometimes I'll, I'll explain my view of property to uh, somebody who, you know, is, is more in the notion of uh, you can only only the things that you can possess are property, and land in itself cannot be property. Like the the. Georgian view of it is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. Henry George. Georges, Georges, or, or and, Georges, yeah. yeah, Henry George. And um, Henry George, yeah, which is correct because because somebody at one point told me somebody told me George Washington. I looked into it and I go, they're wrong. <laughs> but um, anyways, so the way I explain it is that there's all these different views of what property is, but even in um, other species they acknowledge some form of territory, dominion, property, whatever you may call it, whatever sort of whatever sort of description we want to give it. Well, there's a solution. We just need to pee on things. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> done. Have a good night, everybody. Turn off the cameras. We're done. Hey, the, did we do that under so. half an hour? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... Um, no, but seriously, so seriously, can we, this is not a serious show, there's no serious here, but um, like a kangaroo rat digs a burrow, but right? But a robot, no, I'm sorry. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not we're, no, we still have time to talk about robot sex, let's I give it, let's, we, we've got a couple of minutes and other stuff, then we'll get to robot okay, sex, don't okay, gun. don't jump the gun, <laughs> all right, so, so like a kangaroo rat digs a burrow, right, I mean, this is a weird, cool looking animal, kangaroo rats are awesome, by the way, in case you've never seen one, kangaroo anyway, rat? kangaroo rat, they live in the they desert, they look like a kangaroo, they, Google will like, show it to yeah, you, yeah, 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 it's, it's a really cool looking animal, once we get out of our EMP proof bunker, yeah, yeah, so after we leave, they're in danger, yes, all right, yeah, okay, they live kangaroo, kangaroo rats, kangaroo rats, so, you know, I mean, and I'm just using it as an example because I think they're cool. But it, almost any animal does this. They dig a burrow, right? Any other animal that comes in there, even one of their own species, they're going to flip out if another kangaroo rat goes in oh, there. Oh, goes into their little yeah, burrow. Or, yeah, or, or a They're kite. not going to invite them in and say, come for tea. No, 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 no. They'll flip out. Oh, okay. So same thing with a coyote. Would, same thing with so many different animals that the idea of of some sort of like control over this is mine, I think personally is somewhat universal, at least on this planet. Well, only, only because I paid some of my, oh, I, you know, I worked for my money. And Kangaroo paid, Rat didn't work for his money. Well, you see what I'm saying? Like, he should invite me and he should say, come for tea. This is well, that, all that's of kind of interesting well, you, point though. Like maybe know? there's win lose, win win type. Of thing. I, th I think it's about using energy to change something. You're using your energy. To I change use my it. well. No, yeah, no, I didn't change well, you, it. You, I'm just you, like purchased you, it. I said this. But you, but you worked. You worked. I worked. And somebody worked. exchanged it for money. I, right. And that money basically represents your. Even energy. though so the original that, people stole it from somebody. There's yeah. the theory that you work the land, so therefore the land becomes your possession, right? Yeah. But you know, is that really? So if I don't work the land. Does it not no, building a house and the house is your material. I think that's what originally yeah. makes it yours. You, you know yeah, I mean? but if I ten thousand acres and one house, you know, it's so, like so, so how much land and house is the right ratio? I, well, I just you know. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah. So okay, so two things. First off, well, it depends on how much acid you take, Alice, before the kangaroo <laughs> rat invites you in for tea. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Do, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. I'm thinking, like, can you remember who invites you in for tea? How does that happen? Well, Alice, it depends on how much acid you take. Thanks, she's <laughs> one film, like, she's... Yeah. One uh, and then, um, I guess, I guess the, the, uh, what, was the, what was the other thing I was going to say about that? So, I got distracted now. That was really, like, a really funny vision in my head of a kangaroo rat with a teacup. And, like, come on in, Christy. Ah. Um, but, uh, so... 
Uh, all right, so you're saying like one house, 10,000 acres. Well, I'm just saying, I mean, uh, who is the governing body over this? And, you know, and you it's know, like, I mean, what? Well, a volunteer society. We know there's no governing body. That's what I'm saying. But so then, like, then I think, there it's, is more, I think it's more if you have a, a trusted um, person who is keeping track of this or a trusted organization, whatever it is. Keeping track of. Who owns what property. If you're, if you're talking about property like land. No, yeah, but, so but, if, we, were, but we go but you would, you into the use some, of the land. I have yeah. a house. So it was talked about if I put a house on something that's using it, mm -hmm. but if I have a house on 10,000 acres versus a house on five acres, one acre, you know, that's like we have here. Is, is it not used if I have a house on 10,000 acres, but it's used if I have a house on one acre? I mean, that's who's going to say what's right and wrong. I mean, as long as... I think one house on 10,000 acres isn't perfect because then there's 10,000 acres the, to the, be... I mean, I largely agree with you, right? I'm just saying that I hope that there is an ethics that I know, evolves. I know, right? I agree. That's, I, that, I, and I agree with you. That's, 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 I, I, that's think if, I think if I you do. do have an organization like I'm talking about that is um, basically registering land or, or basically, yeah, registering is, I think would be a good word. Um, in transfer of something, goods being transferred whatever, whatever between... Whatever it is, basically somebody who is keeping track of who's buying, who owns what property. Okay. Um, so then it's still property being able to be transferred between Yeah, and, and I think that same uh, organization could uh, possibly also um, basically divide, or, or I don't know how you, how you could do it, but you, when, when you're setting up the land, have it so that it's used to its most potential. You're getting the most out of the land that you can. Yeah, but maybe so you the, don't want to get anything out of yeah, the land. So, maybe so, you want to preserve it. That I really think... I think there's a there's definitely a market yeah, for that, too. I think there's a lot of a so you can say market that, for preserving. This land should be preserved for yeah. some reason. For whatever, or just Whatever because. it is. Yeah. And I, I think that could be part of like the... For kangaroo rats. Yeah, exactly. For kangaroo rats, <laughs> yes. Uh, sometimes I look at things really simplistically. Uh, sometimes really super simple to the point where I should probably flesh things out a little bit better so as to, as to try to make a little bit more sense flesh out of it. Flesh it, right here. Flesh, flesh it. it. Flesh it out. That, yes. that, that, <laughs> I, for some reason, flesh. I've been using that term a whole lot. Flesh so, or flesh? Flesh. Oh, no. Flesh it out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. But, yeah. but um, <laughs> let's put it this way. So you, let, let's say you pay X amount of money for, let's, let's go with that example again, 10,000 acres. And... I think it, it should be enough to maintain what you are calling your, your property because you've paid money for it and somebody has, has transfer, transferred ownership of that to you from somebody else and there's a record of it and there's witnesses and all that sort of stuff. If you were to put up T-Post and some chicken wire and you just simply put up a sign that said, yo, this is my property. Do not, mean, do not manipulate it, you know, without my, my permission. permission. That should be enough. Oh, my permission, yo. Yeah, no, yo. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and end it with another yo if you want to. I mean, that that, that is what like you know, twenty six words I, that can fit on in, a small. In how many languages though? I think I think it is five. Uh, Top five. No, so I, I think it is <laughs> whatever the local language is. Whatever is whatever you know. Okay. I think it's also smart for pe uh, people to use the land wisely. Though I would never advocate force against somebody who I don't think they're using their land wisely or anything like that. But who, again, but, who's going to enforce yeah, that? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's okay. what I'm saying. There right. shouldn't be an enforcement right. okay. for that. All right. But I, I think it should just, I, I think it is and should be. Uh, do we chastise them? Do we just make like them Just like if the laws were gone tomorrow, right. do we would, make you start, would you go and own a human? No. Like we, right? We've evolved yeah. past Okay, that, so right? we're, we're, talking, awesome. we're, we're talking about owning humans. We're talking no, about no, but it's, like, it's more the morality stuff. Well, what no, do, no, how no. Do, do we make people bad and wrong for doing immoral things? Well, do we, just, do we make them bad I, and wrong? Because we can now. We, so, with social media, with all those different things, we can make people... So no, if, if, if we can yeah, no longer... we can longer exercise them. them. We can tar and feather them. You know, if like, we can no longer yeah, a own a human, right? So I... All right, so if we can no longer own a human... And we've got like you know a, a future, and we're getting there really quick. Where you're you're developing you know a, some sort of a uh, of an android where you can, hey robot sex everybody uh, have a good uh, night. Uh, Do we have uh, enough uh, time? Uh, to uh, wait, why can the robot pee uh, on the land? Wait, <laughs> can can you have a, a sentient robot. kangaroo rat that builds a burrow? To oh, no, um, put their pee so that it's their place. That's their place. And robots urinate on Yes, I think that's property. really it. Is will that a will it clock? smell <laughs> just like their smell? Is, is it, is it, mm. would, is it, would it smell do, like would used robots, oil or would it? Would, would robots claim property like 
like cats when they grow. <laughs> what do cats do? The cats I think do they, they like rub on it. They? <laughs> oh, they're pheromones, and they're no. Uh, are they pheromones? Uh, oh, you know what? I, think I don't we're know. Uh, well, I don't you know. know. I mean, we've. Uh, All right. Yeah. Comments below. We minutes. want to hear Call all us again. the comments. <laughs> Robot sex episode is coming soon. Have yes. a good night, everybody. Yeah. Have a wonderful Cheers. weekend. Thumbs up. <laughs>